And so it begins, the old Coots band conversion. Hola, people. Paul Carlson here, old Coot. In my other life, I'm known as small workshop guy. So the two of us, the old Coot and the small workshop guy, are going to do primarily most of the work to convert this brand new Mercedes Sprinter van. Uh, it's 144 wheelbase, the short wheelbase, because I'm the only one traveling most of the time. So I'm going to design it primarily for me. Well, I picked it up on August the 1st, 2021, over uh, in San Jose, California. I got lucky, went over to look at another uh, model Sprinter van 3500, and because I thought that was the only one on the lot and I was anxious to get started. And lo and behold, after uh, we talked about that one quite a bit, I said, well, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to order the appropriate one, which is the 2500 and then wait for eight months until it can get built and delivered. He says, well, why do you want to do that? He says, I've got two of them right back there. And he pointed back on the lot. And I said, oh my God. And one of the big things I didn't like was white. You know, 99% of all the cargo vans that you're gonna get that are designed for business are white. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, I guess it keeps it cooler and makes it cheaper to paint them all at one time. But anyway, this one is Iridium Silver, which is really what I would have ordered. I had also convinced myself that I wanted the shorter wheelbase. I actually have on order, and I'm trying to cancel it and get my uh, deposit back, a Ford Transit with the extended wheelbase, meaning the long wheelbase plus the extra extension. But I uh, realized that, or thought about the fact, I'm gonna use this probably 80% in town at my home as my one and only vehicle, at least at a certain time in the future. And so I needed it to fit, to get around the city easily, get on the freeways easily, go down the city streets, and I needed to be able to fit into uh, normal parking spots. Probably not any parallel parking because the uh, the rear view camera on this thing frankly sucks. And I didn't get a super, you know, specked out, glamorous, glorious uh, Mercedes. I got kind of an entry level with a few things on it, uh, air conditioning and some uh, storage and some other things. And this uh, floor was in there already and these side panels. but. Probably the floor may or may not work. I like it. I'm going to try to make it work, but I got to get insulation under it. Anyway, the only point of this video is to say that the process has started. So here's the way it's going to work. <laughs> I've got my primary YouTube channel, and that's called Small Workshop Guy. And I'm going to have a playlist on that channel, which is the Old Coot RV Adventures. I, I, let me take that back. It's going to be the Old Coot Van Adventures, uh, not RV. The reason I say not RV is I'm not going to stay in many RV parks. I'm going to be mostly in uh, Bureau of Land Management places. I'm going to be in National Forest. I'm going to be in Boondockers Welcome. I'm going to be in Harvest Host. Uh, I'm not going to be in regular uh, RV parks very often because they're crowded. They're hard to, to re reserve, they're expensive, and they're, they're crowded. Did I say that already? Uh, particularly now. So I don't want to be in that. I want to get out and see nature. I want to photograph nature and so forth. So I will have a playlist, which is all about the van conversion. And I'll probably will have a playlist uh, as well about my travel logs and so forth. One of the things I'm going to do in traveling is visit workshops of friends that I've made through both uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook groups, uh, Makers Mob, and Small Workshop Woodworking Community, which I started in August of 2019, which is now 100,000 members. So uh, I've met a lot of really, really cool people through that who have been generous and helped each other, and I'm going to go out there and meet those people and uh, shoot videos of their workshops. And that'll be on my regular channel, my uh, Small Workshop Guy channel. 
Even though I'm not gonna do a second YouTube channel, but rather have a playlist, I am gonna have a second web page. I've got a web page now called smallworkshopguy.com, and over there I've got links to all the videos, I've got uh, links to a tool store for all the things that I bought and that you might want to consider, Amazon affiliate link. And I've got links over, let's see, what else? I got links over there to some plans for my saw stallions and my pop-up workbench. So in that uh, old coot van adventures, that's gonna be more for the uh, people who are interested in, in RVs and, and Class B vans, and they'll get to follow my adventures of both doing the conversion and then later when I hit the road. So that's the concept. Sign up, subscribe, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you as we start working on this van. It's August the 3rd, or maybe 4th, I don't know, 2021. We'll see if we can get this done by August the 1st, 2022. Small Workshop Guy and Old Coot signing off.